Blessed Vapor here today. Are you having a blessed day yet? Well, I'm about to make that happen because I am the ever reputable Brother Kevin in the house live. That's right, I am live. No, I'm really not because I film it and then you got to watch it on YouTube. Ah, but whatever. Hey, brothers and sisters, I've got a special treat for you again today because the brothers over there at Terrapin Vapor, bam, they sent me another bottle. That's right, they sent me another bottle. And if you're watching Terrapin Vapor, this is the ever reputable Brother Kevin. And I've got to tell you, your blueberry crunch was delicious. And I'm all out. Send me another bottle. Stat. Thank you. Now we return you to the regularly scheduled YouTube program. Here it is, Terrapin Vapor. Fuzz Berry. Fuzz Berry, this is correct. Brothers and sisters, let's go right into it. I'm diving right on in, and I'm going to hit it up on the description off the website. Description off the website. A peach daddy met a ripe strawberry mama and swept her off her feet. The ensuing romance blossomed, and fuzzberry was born. Juicy, sweet peaches on the inhale and ripe, subtle strawberry on the exhale. This is the perfect union of the perfect fruit, guaranteed to be your next all day vape that's pretty high falutin there terrapin is this really going to be my next all day vape i don't know let's find out so let's throw it up to the nostradamus and i gotta tell you yeah i i get i get the peach the peach mixed with the strawberries really really nice in this right right in the nose it's, it's really good oh man that's a good smell. Really is a really, really good smell. I think I'm, I'm hitting a little bit more, a little bit more to the strawberry on the nose than I am towards the peach. That doesn't leave me with much to do other than to explain how I rate these flavors and throw it on the atomizer. Let me tell you how we rate these flavors, brothers and sisters. I'm gonna rate these flavors on a scale of one to five, one being the worst, five being the best. I got three different categories. First category is going to be vapor production. Second category is going to be flavor. Who knew? Third category is going to be the often imitated but never duplicated longevity. So, let's toot this up. I've for us, this is a 70-30 mix, 70 PG, 30 VG, and dude, this thing really, 70 PG, 30 VG, I've had 50-50 blends that don't put out this much vapor, and, and doesn't hang as good as it does. This is really good juice. I'm very, very impressed with Terrapin Vapor so far. <sighs> so, vapor production 1 to 5. I'm still sticking with it, okay? Four to a four and a half. It's right up there with the tops. I'm talking right up there with, with, with my bean talent. St Steven, sorry, dog. This stuff's pretty good, man. You really should try this stuff. Especially that blueberry crunch, man. That stuff is amazing. This one's pretty good, too. Brings me right into flavor. It, their description online is spot on of how this actually does. On the inhale, yes, you get the peach. And on the exhale, it's a very, and I mean very subtle, strawberry on the exhale. If you're really looking for it, you'll find that peach, that, that strawberry on the exhale. It's really good. I'm warning, this is a really sweet juice. It really is. This is a really sweet juice. I'm not going to say that this would be my next all-day vape due to the fact of it being so sweet. Lately, I've had a weird tooth. I lost my sweet tooth, pulled it out with the doorknob the other day, tied some fishing string on it, you know, and slammed it. Sweet tooth came out. And I've started to notice that I'm more into little deeper vapes. Uh, my, my, you know, my, uh, what was that other flavor I did? The uh, Cloud Science Alpha. That was really good. Uh, you know, like some, some deeper little vapes instead of these really fruity ones. But without anything, though, this is really good. This is a great, this is a great vape. I would say this would be a good after work. You got home 
and you needed something just done deal, this is a good vape, man. I get the same price point on these. Uh, I believe it's ten dollars for a fifteen milliliter, twenty dollars for a thirty milliliter, if I'm correct. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And this that's that's pretty cheap, considering the fact that I'm not gonna name any names, but twenty-two dollars plus five dollars on the shipping. Eh, man, it kind of hurts for a bottle of juice for fifteen mil. That's kind of it's kinda, it's pretty high, man. I know you're gourmet. I get it. I get it. You're gourmet, but come on. It's just e-juice, dude. Flavor for me, one to five. I'm gonna go three and a half, four. It's good. I like the flavor. Don't get me wrong. I like peaches. I like strawberry. I like all that. It's pretty. It's really sweet, though. It's really, really sweet. Brings me right into longevity. Would I get another bottle of this terrapin vapor? Buzz, buzz, berry. Would I? Would I? Yeah, I actually would. I think this would be delectable out of a tank. And what I would do is every when I got home from work, I would vape on this a little bit, man. Uh, for me, uh, longevity, one to five, I'm gonna throw three and a half, four out there. This is really good. Very surprising with Terrapin Vapors. I was, I'm totally impressed by it. If you can get that kind of cloud coverage out of a 70-30 mix, I say up the ante, and make a high high VG mix let's see what happens then it'll be like cloud butter cloud butter as always brothers and sisters I am the ever reputable brother Kevin go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel go ahead and like me on Facebook if you want to comment on this video do it if you've got some idea a suggestion that would make this go so much better do it if you've got another juice you want me to try do it and then, you know, like me on Facebook, too. We'll be friends and stuff. And then we can talk. And you can, you can instant message me and we can chat. And the only thing I'm going to tell you every time I get off with you is, keep calm and vape on.